Welcome to Contemporary Arts. Today, we will tackle about painting, its forms and its themes. This lesson is prepared and created by Ms. Raymond Zaira M. Fernandez, a faculty of the Department of Languages and Literature College of Arts and Sciences Central Mindanao University. What is painting? Painting refers to the process of applying color on a flat surface. Forms can be created using a wide variety of materials such as watercolor, acrylic, ink, oil, pastel and charcoal. Surfaces for painting include wood, canvas, cardboard, and paper. For the forms of painting, we will have the following. Easel, murals, telone painting, jeepney and calisa painting, and collage. Let us start. Easel painting. The easel painting is perhaps the most common form of painting. As the name implies, this involves applying color to a board or canvas that is fixed on an upright support called an easel. Easel paintings are meant to be framed and hanged on a wall after creating them. Let us take a look at these pictures. Another one is murals. A mural is described as a huge wall-sized painting. During the 1980s, some artists believed that the mural should be used to impart messages to increase social awareness especially to issues at that time. However, a new form of mural, a portable mural, was developed in order to prevent the mural from being erased from the wall. The portable mural was created by using bold strokes and applying bright colors on pieces of cheesecloth or canvas. Nowadays, murals are created by younger artists through outreach programs carried out by organizations. Just like during the 1980s, these murals still impart messages on nationalism and on social awareness. Let us take a look at some examples of mural paintings. Have you seen one of them? Telone painting A telone is described as a backdrop or background for the stage. These backdrops are used for Comedia, Sarsuela, and Sinaculo which are popular forms of theater in the country. Even though the popularity of the Sarsuela decreased, the telone is still used in presentations during carnivals, fiestas, and religious celebrations. The telone was later reduced as a backdrop in a photography studio. These are some examples of telone paintings. Jeepney and Kalisa painting The Kalisa is typically painted using one color. The borders of the Kalisa are decorated with geometric patterns, repetitive patterns, and or thin lines. Jeepney painting evolved from Kalisa painting. In a typical Jeepney, a logo, number or painting is covered near the driver's seat as well as near the seats adjacent to it. We also have the collage. This refers to a form of painting that involves combined images in a single artwork. This entails cutting and pasting materials such as paper, fabric tin foil and other relatively flat materials into a board or canvas. This time, we will discuss about the different themes of painting. Genre painting, historical painting, interiors, religious painting, landscapes, still life, 
Portraits, Nudes The first one is genre painting. Genre painting portrays people in daily activities. Subjects include planting and harvesting rice, a young woman singing in front of guests, barong barong, vendors and fiestas. During the contemporary period, genre painting took several directions. One of these new approaches is folk genre, which mainly focuses on the everyday activities of the folk. Another approach is using the style of cubism and depicting folk or urban subjects. On the other hand, folk naive is another style wherein it uses a lot of color and spontaneity. This was inspired by children's art. We also have historical painting. The historical painting depicts a scene from the past. It often has a lesson concerning national values. Look at the examples in front of you. These are paintings based on our own history. Another theme of painting is interiors. This refers to painting of the space inside of a part of a house or a building. This usually reveals the social class of the family living in that particular house, as well as the traits of the people living in it. We also have landscapes. These paintings portray natural scenery or urban scenes. Mixed media is now used in creating landscape paintings. Closely related to landscapes are seascapes, which focus on large bodies of water, particularly the ocean or the sea. We also have the portraits. This refers to a painting portraying one or more specific individuals. This usually portrays the physical characteristics of the subject and seeks to show an understanding of that person's character. Nudes. These are paintings that portray the unclothed human figure. Nowadays, a wide variety of materials and styles can be used in painting nudes. Nude painting sessions are conducted in galleries. We also have another theme which is the religious painting. Common subjects of religious painting include a lone religious image, lives of the saints, and scenes based from the scriptures like the nativity scene, and the stations of the cross. Let us have the other one which is the still life. This refers to a painting that depicts natural or man-made objects that form a composition in a natural setting. There are still modern artists who did still life paintings, such as Ang Kiyukok, Federico Aguilar Alcuiz, and Manuel Baldemar. A lot of styles can be used by artists in painting, ranging from Baroque and Rococo, to Impressionism, Expressionism, and Abstract. In this lesson, we discussed about painting, specifically its forms and themes. Have you learned something? That is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.